welcome back to the So Me Sunshine YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us once again. It's Celia this week and I will be sharing with you my picks. So as you know, for the last couple of weeks, Jenny and Lisa have shared with you their um, fabric picks and their pattern picks for what we have in the studio at the moment. And so this week it's my turn. So let's get started. For my first choice today, I have chosen this really fantastic um, cream and black Czech viscose crepe. It's got a kind of 90s vibe to it, which is why I really like it. It really reminds me of things, films like Clueless um, and that sort of teenage fashion, which didn't really ever exist, but we all aspired to. And so, um, yeah, I really love this fabric. It's really nice. It's got a really nice weight to it. It's really drapey. Um, it's got really good opacity as well, considering it's on such a, it's got sort of a majority of it so pale. Um, but the pattern that I have chosen to go with this is the saltwater slip. So it's just a really basic um, slip dress, but you could layer this up like they have on the picture from Friday Pattern Company um, with a t-shirt or a long sleeve top. You could bake like a rib top out of the, um, using the Nico pattern and some of our ribbing. Um, and I just think it would be really cool, especially going into autumn, you can start layering it up with like tights and boots and stuff like that. So this is my first choice. For my next choice, I have chosen um, some cotton lawn and a pyjama pattern. And now cotton lawn traditionally is quite a lightweight fabric, so people associate it more with the hotter months, so like, like late spring, summer, that sort of thing. But as we head into autumn here in the UK, I plan to wear, put my pyjamas on straight away when I get home. So I'm going to be making a few pairs of pyjamas. Um, and this is just really lovely. So um, this one is called Summer Wildflowers and it is, as I said, it's a cotton lawn. It's kind of Liberty-esque in the print. It's got these really beautiful flowers and I just really love the pop of red and the, it's got a kind of teal and a, and a really nice blue and a pinky lilac-y colour as well. Um, and then it's got these mustard yellow highlights as well. So it's a really beautiful fabric. It's, it's got all the traits of a, tr a traditional cotton lawn. So it's got a really nice drape, it's super soft. And the pattern that I've chosen to go with it for pajamas is the Carolyn pajamas from um, Closet Core. And they're just really great. Standard pajamas, you get a top, you get a bottom, you can make short sleeves, long sleeves, shorts, full length trousers. Um, the, this pattern does call for piping. Now, um, I don't want to get involved with piping personally, but as you will know from previous videos, I do want to get involved with Rick Rack. So we've got a number of different Rick Rack colors which would go with this um, fabric, but I think that even though there aren't, isn't this color in it, I think it goes really well. So I would edge this with this amazing Barbie pink Rick Rack, which I just love and I just think it looks fab against this fabric. So that is what I would do. So I would edge all of the, instead of using piping, um, I would use Rick Rack instead. For my next choice, I am going to be highlighting one of our new fabrics that we got in this week. And it is a teddy bear fleece. It is 90% cotton. So quite often when you see fleeces, um, they're gonna, they're polyester. So they're like polar fleeces. But this one is cotton and it is really nice. Um, it's got the kind of teddy bear fleece side um, of that kind of raised pile on one side. And then on the other side, it is like a flat sweatshirting. So you can wear it um, either the fluffy side in or the fluffy side out. Um, there's no really kind of wrong side to it. Uh, which I think is really nice. So it's really um, flexible in terms of what you can make with it. Um, you could obviously make like tracksuits, joggers, sweatshirts, anything really, because um, it's so nice and warm. This color is vanilla. We've got it in three different colors. We've got it in a green and a blue, which you might be able to see over my shoulder. And the pattern I've chosen to go with it today is the LB Pullover from Paper Theory. Um, it's a really nice, simple sweatshirt with a funnel neck. So it's gonna be really nice, cozy for the colder months that are coming. And um, it will just be really nice to wear all day and into the evening. And you can just chuck it on over other things like the salt water slip, for example. My next choice is uh, this cotton sateen. It is a stretch cotton sateen and it is in the color sky blue. We also have bubblegum pink. They're really great colors. They're kind of like really Barbie colors and I love them. Um, it's got a bit of stretch to it on the crosswise. No stretch lengthwise. Um, it's just a really fab. It's kind of like a lightweight denim 
um, weight so and it's also got it's got quite a good structure to it so it holds its structure so you can make lots of things out of it as well and um, what I've chosen is the lander pant from True Bias now this pattern does call for little to no stretch um, so you'll just have to check the fit as you go along and Lisa just suggested on the waistband um, if you were to use this fabric you could cut it on the cut the waistband on the cross grain so that it doesn't have any stretch to it um, so that way you you're not uh, it's not going to stretch out. Now my thoughts on making this pattern were, because I love fringing obviously, check out my shirt, um, I was going to add fringing down the side of the trouser just for an extra flair, a little bit of something else going uh, going into autumn, why not, might as well try and bring the joy. So um, yes, and we it calls for metal buttons, I think, does it? Yeah, metal but regular jeans buttons, or you can put regular buttons and they have to be a centimetre and a half wide. So I picked out these Pigeon Wishes buttons, I can't remember what they're called, Jenny will put it in somewhere around here, um, but I said just look fab next to this especially, and then if you think about some white fringing down the side, it's gonna look great. For my next choice I have chosen a viscose fabric to go with the new Tilly and the Buttons pattern. It is called Marnie and it is a kind of smock, um, blouse and dress. Um, there are some different options and some sort of varieties included in this pattern and it's got um, the new Tilly and the Buttons size band which is 16 to 34 so it's a really nice inclusive pattern and um, so the fabric that I've chosen to go um, with this pattern, and I'll go into the details in just a second, is this new floral viscose that we've got. It's a really beautiful viscose lawn. Um, it's really soft and it's got amazing drape. It's got really good opacity as well, considering it's such pale colors. It's um, pale pinks and kind of cornflower blues, a floral design on a pale yellow, and I just really love it. It's got the kind of 1940s, 50s vibe, vibe and um, yeah it's just a lovely fabric and so I thought it would be really nice to go with the new Marnie pattern as I said. Um, so this pattern has um, some different options, it's got a really nice um, sleeve detail so it's kind of a regular sleeve and then it goes out into a kind of balloon sleeve at the bottom but it's also got um, t sort of tucks across the front and then they've created a wave effect as well in, in it by sewing the tucks in different directions. So it kind of creates a really nice undulating pattern across the front and I think you can put it on the sleeves as well. So um, there are some really nice details in this um, pattern and I just thought it'd be really nice to go with this. As we head into autumn, which I do keep banging on about, but as we head into autumn, we are now getting in our coating fabrics. They're starting to come in and we're very excited about them. The first ones um, we received this week and they are so great. We're so excited about them, especially this one, which is a quilted denim. So on the one side, we've got um, a kind of lightweight denim that's been quilted and then it's got um, a wadding layer in it as well. And it's been quilted onto a really soft cream off-white teddy bear fleece and it is so soft. I just want to get inside this whole roll and just go to sleep for the whole of the winter. Um, but yeah, it's really beautiful and it's quite wide as well. I think it is 150 wide. Jenny, what does it say there? 142. 142 wide. So it's um, it's pretty wide and it is, I can't, I can't tell you how soft this is. It's just, you're just gonna have to buy it. And we thought that um, instead of going for a kind of traditional quilted pattern, we would um, pair it with this September coat from Merchant and Mills. Now this is a really good coat because it doesn't need lining because obviously it's already this fabric is pre-lined um, so it's doing all the work for you. But um, this coat and we thought you could so it'd be really warm for winter and Jenny's made this coat and she so it's got she said it's got quite a lot of ease so you can size down as well so that's something to think about um, but you could also you could like make the collar out of some corduroy you could I think the options are for patch pockets but you can also have um, sort of regular pockets so you can just make them and you can put cotton pocket inserts in so there are lots of options there and then um, you bias bind all of the um, the seams on the inside and we've got some we're also selling um, bias tape now and we've got some off-white bias tape which goes 
really well with the cream lining. So um, we can't wait to make this up because um, it is so soft. Jenny's picked out some buttons and she'll put the colour of the buttons somewhere around my head here. Um, these are really nice Merchant and Mills buttons, so they are sort of made for this coat already. But yeah, they look, they, it's just kind of a really nice traditional kind of denim vibe um, with the colouring. It's a kind of muted browny, um, slightly goldy colour, which is really lovely. So yeah, it just looks fab against um, this fabric. And yeah, we can't wait to see people making coats out of it. My next choice is a beautiful Pigeon Wishes um, cotton blend gingham. It is called Santa Cruz and named after the California town because we think it exudes California vibes. Um, and it is a really beautiful sky blue and kind of canary yellow um, colorway. I just love it, it's so nice, so summery. Um, but also, as we know, that I love really good for layering. So the pattern that I have chosen to go with it is the Florence from Merchant and Mills. Um, this is a really nice kind of smock dress. You can make it as a, um, a dress or a top with a kind of um, peplum frill, um, which is also really nice. You can wear that with jeans. In fact, it might look really good with my new frilly, fringy trousers that I'm gonna make using the stretch cotton sateen and fringing. Um, in fact, that's what that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make that outfit. It's a really nice staple fabric. It's a really kind of stable fabric as well. So it's good for beginners if you're thinking of getting into sewing um, and you want to make something kind of groovy for the autumn. This is a really good place to start. My next choice is a new double gauze that we have just got in this week. It is a cotton double gauze and it is this glorious uh, floral print which is kind of muted pinks and greens with a hint of mustard on a navy blue it's very sort of 80s Laura Ashley I think that I had a dress I'm pretty sure that my mum had a dress made out of fabric that was like this I think I had a waistcoat as well which was giving these colors and also floral I love it it's a very versatile fabric so you can make lots of things out of um, double gauze especially um, now because it's got that extra layer of cotton so you can make pajamas this would make great pajamas actually because it's so soft um, but the pattern that we have chosen because and I felt quite inspired when I thought of this when it came in is a quilted jacket so um, this would be so nice quilted up into a jacket and we chose the Hovia by Megan Nielsen and um, you can make it comes in three different lengths and I think I would make the kind of I think I'd make the short one with the tie front. With the Hovia on the pattern, it uh, has bound edges and we don't have any navy bias tape at the moment, but we do have this kind of mustardy, it's what we term as rusted in this uh, studio. It's that sort of in between orangey mustard tone and which is just really beautiful. But it also features in this um, fabric. So we think that this on around the edge of this quilted jacket would be just fab. So my next uh, fabric and pattern choice are inspired by the current trend for workwear. So a lot of people at the moment are wearing sort of Carhartt trousers and Dickies trousers, which have the panel down the front, which is kind of for extra durability. So they have like leg panels. So I think, so to protect your knees, if you like fall over and for general wear and tear, um, there's that extra layer. And I really fancy making a pair. So the pattern that um, I've decided to go with is the Dawn Jeans pattern from Megan Nielsen. So what I would do is I would make, um, I think it's UB, it's a kind of straight leg jean, and then I would add the panel into the front and using um, a, one of our stretch denims. So this is the mustard stretch denim. It's only got a little bit of stretch to it and the stretch is only crosswise, there's no stretch lengthwise. Um, so I think this would look fab and it's kind of that traditional kind of Carhartt yellow as well. So it would look really good. And then with the panels and, and you can add little extra details like rivets and the pattern does actually call for optional rivets and we do sell them. We have ba little bags of 20 double cap rivets from Merchant and Mills. This one is a kind of bronzy color. I think it's kind of a burnished bronze color and it's a really nice and I thought it would look really great against this, especially putting them on the corners of the, um, the panels down the front of the trousers. So that is my plan for this mustard denim. 
Lastly, I'm going to talk about the shirt that I am wearing. This fabric is a viscose crepe in a dead stock print that we had a few months ago. It's really great. It's got these massive leaves on it. I love um, houseplants, so um, I, I was really drawn to this fabric. And I decided to make a fringe shirt. Um, because I love kind of Western wear and I wanted to see if I could make a fringe shirt. I was really inspired by a company called Fashion Brand Company who make fringe shirts. So um, that was my main um, idea for this fabric. And I decided to use the classic shirt pattern from Modern Sewing Company. And it's a really nice um, basic shirt. The instructions for the Modern Sewing Company patterns are really, really good. And they make some really good basics. So if you're looking to get started in kind of like really nice trousers and classic shirts and things, that's a really good place to start. Um, uh, but I did have to make a few alterations. So on the back, there is fringing. And so um, in the original pattern on the yoke, it included a um, kind of like an inverted box pleat, um, like you might find in a classic shirt, but I took that out um, so that it did, wouldn't get in the way of the fringing, because the fringing is important. And also I put in a front yoke so that I had somewhere to put the fringing. Um, and I also narrowed the shoulders a bit because the original pattern is a bit more of a kind of relaxed fit and I wanted it more fat, um, more fitted so and I also shortened it and took out the kind of rounded bottom that you get with a classic shirt as well so I did make some alterations but I'm so happy with the result and I put on some vintage um, shank buttons as well so I'm so happy with it um, so we don't have any more of this fabric but we do have a similar fabric in stock and it is a dead stock and it is a border floral print this fabric is so fab it's really beautiful and it is the same sort of texture it's the same viscose crepe texture um, and the same kind of massive florals, which we love. Um, it's really beautiful. You get these massive squares. So you could use this fabric to make things like scarves or use it as a lining. But also I just think you could use the pattern to full effect on something like a classic shirt. So you could have this running down the middle or running down the back. Um, if you wanted to make a shirt, I just think it's really beautiful and um, I'm kind of inspired to make another one of these actually, maybe without fringing this time and I might just make the traditional shirt pattern um, using the actual instructions and pattern pieces. But um, it also calls for buttons obviously and we have these really lovely um, Merchant and Mills cotton buttons. This is um, the colour Boston Fall, so it's very appropriate for this time of year as we head into, in, as we're in September. Um, but it goes really nicely with this sort of teal background and also this colour features in this pattern as well. So um, it's just a really nice kind of contrast, which also blends in, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, but yeah, this, and that's all you need. So you just need a matching thread, which we also do. So don't forget, if you want a matching thread, you can select that when you're buying the fabric. You can just select matching thread and we'll send you a matching thread. Um, but yeah, this combination in a shirt, something like this, but you could also make it with fringing because I'm pretty sure I've got some gold fringing at home. So maybe I will make it with fringing. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a really great combo and I just love it. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed my picks. I really enjoyed picking them out for you. Drop a comment below and tell us which ones your favourites were and what you would make with the fabrics. And we also, we really appreciate everyone's orders this week. We love to see what people are ordering and we love to imagine what people are making. So let us know what you're making as well using the hashtag sew, sewing sunshine. <laughs> sewing sunshine on all of our social media platforms you can also contact us through there you can contact us through instagram and also drop us um, an email so thank you so much for joining me as i said and next week one of the other team members will be back for their picks and we look forward to seeing you then bye